All right, we've got our Dodge Ram headlight here. This is a reflector style headlight, as you can see with the nice mirrored surfaces in here. Now for these tests, we're gonna be using a lux meter and just showing you the peak intensity, but we're gonna look at the whole beam pattern as well. We're gonna keep our camera setting uh, solid, just set to the same level so you can get a nice comparison. So we've got our halogen to start here. When we turn this on, we can see we've got a nice hot spot in the middle and width on both sides. The max lux that we've measured from this distance is 1190. Now I switched over to the HID and when I light this up, you can see how long this is gonna to take to start up. So of course, some ballasts are gonna take longer than others, but we can see the effect of that here. Now as it warms up, it's gonna shift from a bluish up to a whitish color as well. So we'll let this get up to full operating brightness and then we'll measure the lux here too. So now it's fully bright and we measured it and we got 1580 lux. So that's a big improvement from our halogen reading, but the problem is we have more light everywhere now and that includes extra glare above our cutoff pattern. So with reflectors, there's just no real good way of controlling that extra glare because we don't have any type of shield like we'll see in the projector. So reflectors with HIDs, we have to be very careful because not only are we shining more light in the hot spot, we are also shining more light above it and creating glare for other drivers. Now let's take a look at the LED. Next we have our Cree LED installed and these aren't even the worst type of bulbs like the COB, but they're so out of focus still with that bigger Cree LED on it. In this case, you can see we don't have any hotspot anymore. It's really just blurry and just out of focus. So on this, we only have 840 lux, which is a big downgrade from halogen. So when it comes to LED bulbs, the first step is you wanna make sure you're getting a good LED bulb that's focused. Next, we're gonna be doing the Diodynamics SL1 and we'll see how this performs. So when we light this up, you can see immediately a huge difference in the quality of these two different LED bulbs. This is the Diodynamics SL1, which is using nice high intensity chips arranged perfectly with really good focus. And the result is clear. We have a nice strong hotspot and that hotspot is actually 1660 lux, which is higher than the HID in this headlight. And that was a good HID. Of course, it's a 35 watt HID. If we go to a higher power HID like 55 watt, we might get more output from the HID. But again, with that HID, we'll get more glare. In this case, because the LED is so well focused, we get a huge increase in output without added glare like the HID. So in most newer reflector housings, the LED, a well-designed LED, is going to be your best bet. So now we've got our projector headlight here. And when we flip this on, you can see big difference from reflector to projector headlights in the way the beam pattern looks mainly because we've got a cutoff shield that's gonna block any light from going over that cutoff line. With our halogen bulb installed here, you can see we've got a nice, very even pattern. There's no real strong hot spot, but there is a hot center point in this projector pattern. And from that, we are getting 760 lux with our measurement here. Now let's go to HID and see how it looks. All right, we're gonna flip on our HID and you can see, again, it's gonna take a couple seconds to get up to full brightness. But you can see, we maintain the nice beam pattern. The projector is really going to maintain the overall cutoff no matter what we put in it. So the next thing we have to look at is how intense the whole pattern is. And with an HID installed, you can see, really nice pattern as we get up to full brightness here, and we have 800 lux total. So 10, 15% brighter than that original halogen bulb. We maintain the whole pattern pretty nicely with this setup. Now let's try out our LEDs. Starting with that Cree style LED with the bigger chip, when we turn this on, you can see, yes, we have a cutoff, but there's no hot spot at all anymore. And when we measure it, we only get 280 lux. So that's half the output from that original halogen. These bulbs are a huge downgrade. So again, for the LED bulbs, it really depends on the quality of the LED bulb. Let's put in a good one, our Dive Dynamics SL1, and see how it does. So when we have an LED installed on this headlight with good focus, you can see our hotspot returns. And on this one, we have 780 lux, which is a slight upgrade from our halogen performance. Of course, with the LED, we'll get much more lifespan and the modern color as well compared to halogen. This is gonna really vary based on your projector. Good projectors are gonna have really high lux with halogen. So this one is a Honda, they have decent projectors. Subaru's not nearly as good. But in many cases, HID might be a better choice in some projectors. 
as LED continues to catch up. So what you can expect for projector headlights is that LED bulbs will be a slight upgrade from halogen with all the features of LED. HID is a complex system, but it might give you better performance in projectors. As we said, for reflectors, LED is the absolute best choice because of the better focus. So as you can see, there's a lot of factors to consider when choosing LED or HID, especially depending on which type of headlamp you have and the quality of the design of your headlamp, or just the convenience and lifespan that you're looking for for your solution. You can find more information at DyerDynamics.com or feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.